Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I am sharing my top five mascaras. These are my go-to mascaras. To give you a little bit of context if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name's Lisa, and I have had lash extensions on and off for the last 12 years. And I say that because it's important to know that for this video so you get an idea of what, how I like my lashes to look. I like them to look dramatic and full. I don't want them to look too dramatic. I don't want them to be clumpy. I want there to be a lot of length and volume and separation, but that is, that is what I I like in a mascara that is how my lash I like my lashes to look currently I don't have lash extensions I think I'm gonna give them a break for a good time I might go back one day but I like to never say never <laughs> but for right now I'm really loving just natural lashes um, I do want to say that I will link my uh, favorite lash serums in the description box because getting my lashes back to a healthy state after lash extensions for so long is a process and it takes a serum consistent use of a serum and I use a couple of them I really rotate them. You know, I don't like to stick to one for too long because I feel like it stops working. So what I'll do is I'll use one and then I'll switch to another and then I'll go back. I have a few favorites that I continue to rotate through. So those will be linked down below. Okay, let's get started with mascara one. And I think I'm going to rank these in order. I'm going to try. It might be hard, but I can say without a doubt, this is my like my top mascara. It is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Now what I love about this mascara is I love, well first of all I love the wand. The wand it has little tiny teeth and it's kind of like rubbery I should say. Maybe it's not actually rubbery but it, that's what it reminds me of. So it does a really great job of separating the lashes and it doesn't get clumpy. No matter how old this mascara tube gets, it doesn't get clumpy or dried out. It's just a really nice wand to stay mess free. This mascara gives a ton of volume. Like I'm talking dramatic volume thickness at the root, but it doesn't look clumpy or overwhelming. Um, it also does a fair job of separating. I mean, it's not like the most like separating mascara um, because there is so much volume at the root. It gives great length too. I love, love this mascara. I also want to mention this mascara retails for $24 and it was a winner for best mascara in the drama mascara category for Allure Best in Beauty in 2020. So see, I'm not the only one that loves this. Uh, according to Tarte's website, it's an eye-opening mascara that finds and flutters every lash, massive volume, infinite length, and extreme curl. Um, I would agree with that. I would definitely agree with that. So let's talk clean mascara. I have two products in this video. The first one is the Kosas Big Clean Mascara. This retails for $26. It is a clean at Sephora brand. And I love love this mascara. It gives mega volume as well. Let me to actually tell you what Sephora.com says about it and then I'll tell you my personal thoughts on it. It's described as being a volumizing mascara and a lengthening mascara, long wearing and curling. What's interesting about this mascara, it has castor oil in it, which is very conditioning and nourishing to hair. So it'll actually help condition and nourish your natural lashes, which is great. Um, I definitely feel like this is a dramatic thickening lash. It gives a lot of length too. Actually, this is what I have on today. I forgot. That's what I have on today. Now, this one of all of them tends to dry out quicker. Um, I would say after about a month when I open it, it um, seems drier. Now, I will add a couple of eye drops to mine to kind of give bring it back to life, and I actually did that recently to this one. Um, this is what the wand looks like. It has a little s curve to it, which is nice because it helps lift and curl the lashes, but that would be my only complaint about this mascara is that after about a month, you're going to feel like you need to replace it or toss it out, but don't do that. Just add one or two little eye drops, like saline eye drops kind of mix the wand back in there and you bring your mascara back to life for another month or two or so. So love this mascara. Of all of them, it could probably be the one that gets a little clumpy quicker, um, again, because it just dries out quicker, but just try that little trick and I promise you will, you will love it. Love, love, love this mascara. Next up, we have the Lancome Big Monsieur Mascara. This is a volumizing mascara. It retails for $27. I'm gonna read you a couple things from Sephora and then I'll talk to you about my own experience. It says it's a volumizing mascara for your most dramatic lashes yet, a false lash effect with up to 12 times more volume in up to 24 hours of wear. So it is described as being volumizing. You don't see lengthening on this list, but you do see long wearing. Definitely agree with the volume. It is very volumizing. Let me show you the wand on this. This is kind of your good old school traditional mascara wand. I do feel like this formula is a bit 
more wet, a little wetter. Um, now I do get some length from this. I was actually surprised that they don't have length on here, but now that I think about it, I guess of the ones that I've shared so far, it doesn't give as much length. It's definitely more volume and fullness. Um, I do feel like this is a little bit messier. Um, just be careful when you apply it. I feel like when I'm applying my mascara, this might be the one that I get on the eyelid the most. When that happens, just let it dry. Resist the urge to clean it up right away. Let it dry. If that's five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever. Take a Q-tip and then just flake it off. Uh, mascara is meant to adhere to hair, but not really skin. So it'll just flake off without, you know, smudging or causing any disruption to your eyeshadow. But if you do it too soon when it's still wet, then you have a mess. So don't do it. <laughs> but this is a great, great volumizing mascara. So if you already have a lot of length, but they're thin, this would be the one I would recommend. Next up, we have the Lancome Lash Edol Mascara. This retails for $27. I wanna say first, Lancome, I think, is probably the brand that has the best like lineup of mascaras, in my opinion. I, I find they have so many hits in their mascara collection portfolio. This one launched, was it two years ago or a year or two ago? I was part of the campaign when this launched, which was a huge honor, and that's when I got to discover it. This one is described as being volumizing, lengthening, oil-free, and long-wearing. Um, now, I personally attribute this to being a very lengthening mascara. What's also great about this formula is that it is not heavy. It's very lightweight, so it doesn't weigh your lashes down. Um, you can curl your lashes, apply this, you'll have very lifted lashes, and they'll stay lifted and curled all day because of the formula it's not heavy it's not going to weigh down your lash um, but it says it's volumizing and I suppose it is more of the volumizing of my lengthening mascaras I think of this one if I want lots of length and separation um, the other one is lengthening as well that I'm gonna share the last one but the, yeah I've saved the two like lengthening mascaras when I think of lengthening at the end um, but this does give this is the more volumizing of the two I guess this is more this is, this is a volumizing lengthening mascara. Why am I being too wordy with this description? Um, but for me, I personally think this is a lot of length here. Um, I also like the wand on this. It kind of reminds me of the Tarte Man Eater in that it's like mess free, has little tiny teeth, and you can see that it has a little curve on it as well. So it really can get, you know, right there at your lash root. I like to close my eyes when I apply mascara at first just to get all that product dispensed at the root and then pull up. You can really get in there deep if you have your eyes closed. So that's a little tip to, a little mascara hack to get the most volume at the root of your lashes. And last we have the Merit Beauty Clean Lash Lengthening Tubing Mascara. This retails for $26 on Sephora.com and this is the most recent that I discovered. Discovered this a couple of months ago and I am, have not really been a fan of tubing mascaras but this one is different. This one is easier to remove. That has been my biggest complaint with tubing mascaras is that removal at the end of the night, it's like a mess. Not the case with this one. You can be very gentle on the lashes and this removes very, very nice and easy. This is also a clean at Sephora brand. This is a lengthening mascara and I definitely stand behind that. It gives a lot of length and separation, a really clean, long, wispy lash. Let me show you the wand on this. This is kind of more like your traditional mascara wand and shape really nice, nice shape, some fullness so you can really, you know, get in there and coat every lash, but it's not too thick. It allows you to apply your mascara nice and, you know, clean. You don't make you don't make a big mess with this mascara. This is really really beautiful again for nice long separated lashes. And those are my current top favorite mascaras. Let me know what yours are. I am all mascaras and are like concealers for me. I'm always up to try something new. Even when I have like, you know, holy grails that I love, I like to try new mascaras. So let me know what your favorites are down below, especially if you have any drugstore options. I The only drugstore mascara that I love is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So let me know of others down below, please. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I always appreciate the time that you spend with me on my channel. Our time is so valuable and precious. So that you, you come here and you watch my videos really means a lot. I appreciate you. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.